Yeah, a lot of people are like, you want some fucking trucks and yeah, we shit? Got, we got six 18 wheelers. 18 yeah. wheelers. Yeah, we got How do you sleepers too. We I, don't got no, we got the ones with the bed in the back called sleepers. We, <laughs> so we, we not look, we get in the road with ours. Okay. Z and our truck companies, me and my brother right there. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It is your boy Chris Lee, and um, I look a little drowsy. I'm having I'm having an allergy attack, but um, I gotta get this video out to y'all because uh, it's been about a week, so it's about time that I post it. Um, the past two weeks I haven't posted. I don't think much. I've been training. That's what this video is about. Um, I've been training a guy who ran his own company, as you can see by the title. Uh, he pulled in a couple million dollars. Um, just, I think, uh, Drive-In or Reefer, one of the two. Um, pretty cool guy. He was from Gambia. So, shout out to him. Um, and I just wanted to make this video so that you guys can know, like, even though... Um, this guy had a multi-million dollar company. Um, what happened with, is what he told me was that like he started, um, his truck started breaking down. And he had, he had five trucks. Uh, he had his um, authority. And he said he had about 20 or so trucks that he had um, that were owner operators that were signed on to his authority um oh, the owner operators would get tickets and not tell them and stuff like that and so like that kind of started you know what I'm saying making the company look bad um and then like I said the trucks that he had were breaking down um and that's unfortunate but at the end of the day um I'll tell you real quick a little bit about how he started it. He said he had eight grand. Him and a friend had eight grand. They bought one truck. And then from there, it kind of blew up. And that's that's crazy, right? Um, and you can save eight grand one year out here on the road if you're getting paid right. You know what I'm saying? You're not taking 44 cents a mile at 2,000 miles. I just saw someone post that on Twitter. Um, but you know what I'm saying? If, you, if you're getting paid your worth, you can save eight grand. You can save, you know what I'm saying, 16 grand in a year. It's possible. Um, if you guys need any help, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to plug. Go ahead and visit my website, chrisleytv.com. Uh, find out how to get your CDO for free. Find out how to take the practice test, um, backing, pre-trip, all that good stuff. If you're looking to get your CDO, if you know anybody looking to get their CDO, send them to my website, chrisleytv.com. I will put a link in the description, chrisleytv.com. It's my name, dot com, all right? So go visit my website. And get some uh, some insight on how to get your CDL. But um, like I was saying, uh, you know what I'm saying? The company, the trucks, the owner operators, you know what I'm saying? Although he made like millions of dollars, which is great. I think that's an experience in, an experience in itself. Like to be able to say that you've done that. If I, if I made a million dollars and I lost it, um, that's not an L. Because I know exactly what to do to get that million dollars again, right? I've done it once. That means I can do it two, three times. And then also I can teach people how to do that. Um, I didn't ask him for any game. Um, I just listened to what he said, you know what I'm saying? And that was the game that I got, you know what I'm saying? So just by listening, I, I, I heard what I would need to do as far as, you know what I'm saying? If, if I wanted to do something like that. Um, and you, you know what I'm saying? I've, I've just told y'all, if you read between the lines, I've just told you some things that you would need to do to run a successful business and clear a couple million dollars um, with your own authority. Um, like I said, things start going south for him and that's unfortunate, but um, smart guy, right? He he drove, he had a CDL and that's how he wound up in my truck, right? Um, you know what I'm saying? He started here at Jordan and um, for some uh crazy you know what i'm saying experience for it to happen for me to be his trainer because i don't train i'm not a trainer i don't train i don't like to train you know what i'm saying i like being you know what i'm saying by myself in my truck i'm just that way um i've trained before at stevens transport you can see back 
years ago on my channel um, at Stevens Transport. I was a trainer. I do understand, you know what I'm saying, how to train somebody uh, in the truck and, you know what I'm saying, and whatnot, what, you know what I'm saying, and all that entails. But it's just something that I'm not wanting to do right now. Um, I might do it, you know what I'm saying, some form of training. I do, you know what I'm saying, I do training online. I do, I do console calls. I do, you know what I'm saying, I have my, my book. So it's like things that I do still to help out because I like to teach. But I don't, you know what I'm saying, I like being in my truck and I like being alone and I like being with my thoughts so I can think about how to help people without, you know what I'm saying, really, especially right now with COVID-19, they had asked me to train someone like a month ago. And I was like, you know what I'm saying, the money, sure, um, that would be great to have that extra income from training someone because you do get paid extra to train. But I wasn't really pressed about money because I feel like my health and my family's health are a lot more important than me trying to get an extra, you know what I'm saying, little some little chump change and then I come home and get everybody sick. That's not what I wanted. So I declined the first uh, time they asked me to train, I declined it. Um, I had to go, like in my last video, I showed you guys that I had to go to Mississippi. So with me having to go to Mississippi, um, I think I said this in that video, my last video, I came back and I brought the trainee back with me, right? I brought the guy back with me. And, um, you know what I'm saying? We, that's how I found out about him. That's we, you know what I'm saying? We were talking on the way back, six hour ride. You know what I'm saying? We chopping it up. And, um, I gave him one of my financial planners. That was kind of what kind of opened him up. Uh, I was listening to the richest man in Babylon cause it was a six hour ride. And I just was like, I have to find some type of entertainment. So I was listening to the richest man in Babylon. And then like when we would stop and the book would stop, you know what I'm saying? We talk about whatever was going on in the book. And then, um, I kind of, you know what I'm saying? He started telling me about, you know what I'm saying? We started talking about how people don't save money and stuff like that. And, um, I was like, yeah, that's one of my things. Like I want to help empower truckers and help them learn about financial literacy. You know what I'm saying? Don't just get the CDL. Like, learn and understand your money, how to budget your money, you know what I'm saying? For you go from making uh, whatever you make in a month to what to make it in in a week after you get your CDL. So you have, you know what I'm saying, one check that covers pretty much all of your bills. You know what I'm saying? Everything that you uh, was making for a whole month, you can now take care of in a week. So you have like three other checks or two and a half other checks that you need to figure out what to do uh, people are going to call you. People are going to stress you out. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't know really what to do. That's why I made the financial planner for truckers. I'm actually writing a book right now uh, for truckers. And it's more about financial literacy. But you know what I'm saying? Um, we started talking about that kind of stuff. And I gave him my book. And I was like, here, take this. You seem like, you know what I'm saying, it might help you. Not knowing that he would had already, you know what I'm saying, ran the company. And had made, you know what I'm saying, over $2 million or whatever. Uh, a couple million dollars like that was before that was pre knowing that and then that's when he kind of started opening up about you know what i'm saying the him uh running that company and um i thought it was pretty cool you know what i'm saying i thought it was pretty cool but you know what i'm saying i was i was taking him back to texas because that's where he lived that's where i live so that was almost his taxi right i was his uber so i took him back i'm saying we came back dropped him off at the crib and you know what i'm saying um, I thought that was the end of it, but you know what I'm saying? Come Monday morning, they call me and they're like, Hey, um, whoop de whoop other driver that's supposed to train him. His truck is out for, you know what I'm saying? Till Wednesday. And I'm and what's up? And I'm like, well, um, I've already kind of interacted with the guy. So I'll train him. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll take him. And that's what, um, that's how I wound up training. You know what I'm saying? Training a millionaire to do flatbed. Um, you know what I'm saying? And that's, that's, a, that's pretty much what we did throughout the weeks. You know what I'm saying? we talk about that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I listen to him tell me stories about, you know what I'm saying? The kind of stuff he did as a boss, as a, as a boss. And then I would teach him, you know what I'm saying? He, what he would tell me was that the knowledge that I gave him, I cannot take away. He's like, I'm, I'm stealing something from you. He's like, you don't know it, but I'm I'm taking knowledge from you that you cannot give back to me. 
and I, and obviously you know what I'm saying I took a little bit of my own so um, it was just like an exchange right and I hope that y'all you know what I'm saying take the information that I share with y'all you know what I'm saying and share it with other people you know what I'm saying exchange it that way and uh, visit my website chrisleetv.com deuces